Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel for another iRacing video and we're back in the Radical today and we're back at Phillip Island today. So, weird coincidence that the um, IMSA was at Phillip Island last week and that's where the Radical is this week. So, um, very new track for me still but it seems to have decent pace in the practice session that I've just done before this race. The only guys that beat me, I think one of them was like 7k and the other one was like 4k. Other than that, I uh, finished third in the practice session. So we have some decent pace around here, um, but this is our second attempt after a bit of a mini death yesterday. So fingers crossed we get on a little bit better this time. Let's jump on in, see how we get on. All right, we're here in the radical at uh, Phillip Island. Pretty low participation at the minute. So we've all split into just one uh, into one race. So there's some pretty fast guys in this one. The number four car has decided to start from towards the back, so we'll look for him trying to make his way through the field. I got an unsafe pit exit, pit exit through qualifying, so I lost my first flight and lap, so... I think with pace I should only have been maybe one or two positions further forward, but... A little frustrating. <laughs> yeah, try and keep it on the road for the race, you know how it goes in these things. See if we can grab a result by the end of it. Thank you. All right, here we go then. And be patient. Got a good start. Dual clutch worked well, but we're sort of boxed in. Just take it steady going into this first corner. It's really hard on uh, cold tyres, or it's really easy to just lose the back end. Like that. <laughs> and there's one behind us done the same thing. So just nice and steady, same thing on the power coming out of here, easy to lose the back end. Alright, survived T1 and 2. First big braking zone coming up. Break nice and early, just roll it in. Jordan behind ours touched us. He did the same thing in practice just before this race, so that's not ideal. Doesn't fill me with confidence for him. Uh, Following the rest of the race. Let's drop back now a little bit though, which is good. Get him off our uh, back end. He's probably crumpled the back a little bit though, which affects your straight line speed. Go down to third for the first time through Lukey Heights. I think that's what that bit is anyway. Makes sense since it's over the top of a hill. Oh, there's one getting very loose there. That was Jamie, two positions ahead. Super loose getting on the power through there. Decent gap to Jordan, then we can just keep eyes forwards. Up to P6. Still cold tyres, so it's still going to be a lift through T1 this time round. Let's see if either of them forget that. Oh, and they've had, a, they've had an incident. Let's hope they've got it back gathered up and they don't come creaming into the side of me here. Looks like we've got away with it. That was unfortunate for them both. Not an easy corner to go side by side through, that's for sure. Oh! Can do without doing things like that, that's for sure. Still cold at the back then. Very cold tyres, not got much grip under braking. And the sun's coming out just to my left there, just to make it added challenge to try and see what's happening. Let's activate full squint over vision. Also, last time I raced this track in a different car was that farce of an IMSA race where there were only two of us in class, so finished P1 out of two after the other guy binned it early on. Did try this race yesterday as well and super, uh, super strong strength of field. We were holding our own in P5, P4 dived on P3 coming into this corner here, spun them both around and stopped on the apex right under the acceleration zone. And uh, that meatballed me. That was the end of my race. It was eight minutes of repairs, so... Thankfully we're already doing better this time than we did that time. 
better breaking into her than this time. Just keep seeing flashes of the guy behind in the mirror. Looks like he's probably closing in. Alessandro. Easy through that corner to get greedy on the power, light up the rears and spin out. Even once everything's warmed up, that's still uh, still a corner you've got to be cautious through. So I start to look at some lap times, see what we're like for pace. Quite a long way off it. Despite it being a zero, zero x contact, contact, I'm fairly sure that that little bump at the start, the zero x will have uh, crumpled my back end a little bit. I do know just from past races that that does affect your top line speed. Pull a line through there. So I took her ahead, I think is still pulling away. But I do think I'm also pulling away from uh, from Alessandro behind, which is a relief. Sean in seventh was the guy that started from towards the back. Reckon that he didn't have much pace in these, but they're certainly picking his way through. P4, it would be nice if I could hold on to it, to be honest. Let's see. Best or best lap time, I think, was a 24-4 in practice. I uh, don't feel like I'll be able to get that in the race. I think they were quite optimal for track conditions when I set that. In fact, that was actually in qualifying for the, uh, the other race that I was speaking, speaking about. And a bit side was going down the hill that time. Got away with it though. It's not quite as... Uh, Tends for expecting carnage as Bathurst, but still not exactly a relaxing racetrack this one. Slightest little mistake and you're off on the grass and we know what iRacing grass is like. Ice. Just washed up a little bit in the middle of the hairpin that time. Wasn't ideal. Took her ahead, had a slow last lap, it was in a 25-2. The brightness outside my real world window and the cloud cover on the screen is making it very difficult to, uh, to see properly here.
I'd say bad luck there, but I wouldn't mean it. Sorry, I'm not here. Channel, we're doing okay. Sorry, dude. Sorry, I risked you. Um, I didn't expect you to be so close through there. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. All right, that's pressure off from Sean coming through the field then. It looks like he's had a bit of an incident. Thank you. Still not really making a dent on Tucker though, I don't think. Holding about three seconds yet. The one and two are very close, see if they can keep it clean to the end, otherwise if they came a cropper we might be on for uh, on for a podium if something happened. If I can stay in the 24s, I'll be pretty happy with that pace. It's not going to be enough to uh, challenge the guy ahead, but it's good for good for the knowledge. And that's the kind of numbers I need to be aiming for. Thankfully for me, there's no pressure from uh, Alessandro behind. We have left him well and truly for dead. Still a long way to go though, not even halfway. 18 lapper here at Phillip Island. A lot of things can unravel in another nine laps. Maybe 10 laps in fact, won't it, as we cross the line. I'm just dangling the camera, you, you uh, Justin. Just try and throw some dirt up in your face, mate. Oh, I thought someone might have suggested there was a free beer out there. Only one. A little bit of time out of Tucker, so I guess with the amount of time that's left in the race, there's potential that we could uh, reel him in, but I'm just going to turn my race and see what happens, first and foremost. He uh, picked up his own pace a little bit that last lap. Was only a tenth faster than him. I can't really extract any more pace out of my car, I'm doing everything I can. I think I'm getting a little bit of time on him through this section here, but I don't know if cumulatively it'll be enough by the end of the race. I'm going to drop into the 25s this lap by the looks of it. Tucker looks to up the pace even more, he's pulled away that lap, 
think maybe Tucker's struggling from a bit of inconsistency because uh, the gap between us seems to be yo-yoing a little bit and it's nothing that I'm seeming to do differently. My laps are fairly consistent. So I wonder if he just keeps having little little mistakes here and there, maybe a lock-up or two. Not sure that that um, expected damage that I think I've got is actually doing anything to the car, because if it was slowing me down in a straight line, I'd expect the uh, the delta to be indicating that, and it's not doing, or at least the uh, the predicted lap time on my dash. So obviously that was set at a time when uh, when the car didn't have damage. So I seem to be holding top end speed. So maybe I'm just not driving quite as quick as what I could do. But similarly, I don't really want to push it much harder. To be honest, I'm fairly close to the limit. That was not what we needed. Not what we needed whatsoever. Somehow held our fourth position, but I think that's only due to how big of a gap we had leading into that incident. I think we had seven seconds on these guys, but could definitely have done without that. We're going to have a good fight with Jamie now. Got pace. Struggling to see him with what I said about the, the darkness on the track and the sunshine to the side of me. Whoa, slightly through there. I feel like the back tyres are maybe just starting to get a little bit overworked. Just about holding him off for now, but I don't think it'll uh, stay that way, to be honest. Seems to just have a lot more grip at the higher speed stuff. Although that sunshine will definitely help us be able to actually see the track, which is nice. Probably this time it'll be close enough in the draft. Not going to fight too much because we don't want to go side by side into turn one. So 
recipe for disaster doing that. He's moving around but he's not there. Car's getting super slidey. Moved across a little bit on him there, there's absolutely no way I wanted him sticking his nose in, going into that corner. He's doing it just to try and put the pressure on, but similarly, don't want to give him an inch and him take a mile and us have a plane crash. It's 0.2 this time around, 0.1, and imagine here it comes. Oh, backs out of it again. I'm not really sure how much pace he's got to be honest because he's moving around a lot and uh, seems to keep getting the run in places. I wonder if he's just waiting until the last lap to uh, make the move down the straight here to be honest but... I guess it's tricky at this, uh, at this circuit there. Overtaking opportunities, you know, there's not loads of them to be fair. Maybe into the turn 3 hairpin if you're good on the brakes. That was especially slidey that time through turn two. But it keeps coming nice and close like this, but then is he making the move this time? Give him the space. Gets the move done. Held him off for a while, but to be honest, I think it was just when he finally decided that he wanted the position, he made the move. Probably just see him run away now, to be fair, which is a shame. Whoa. Especially if I run deep like that. to go across the line then probably will hold on to the top five position but without that mistake of mine should have been a top four which is disappointing might be a bit of error wash so i'll have to lift this time just a smidge just to keep it pinned thank you He's not absolutely sprinted clear, which is nice. So 
have to throw the slower speed stuff in it that has uh, got a lot more pace on us. Looks like the kind of the the trail braking late apex hairpins and the um, the acceleration phases is just much stronger through those. Not necessarily got any time on me in the in the braking zone and sort of turn two, turn three. I'm certainly not going to be able to close four tenths on make a pass in this final lap, that's for sure, so. Just trying to put him off his lines a little bit, see if we can make a mistake, but I don't think it's going to happen, you know. Almost double the rating. Gonna be a drag race down to finish line then. It's not gonna be close enough though. GG. <sighs> Frustrating. Good job, very good job. Got him in P4. That's annoying. Super annoying. Could have been a wall. I guess it would have been the sea. <sighs> ah, it's so frustrating. <laughs> it's worse because in practice I've not spun at that corner once. That corner's given me no trouble whatsoever. But I don't know, just lost the concentration on the brakes or whatever. Whatever happened there. And uh, around she went to lose P4. But it kind of meant the, meant the race was a little bit more interesting in the end because it was shaping up to be quite a, quite a dull one. I don't think I was going to count... Um, going to catch Tucker ahead of me. Um, I was closing him down a little bit, but it was sort of yo-yoing to and fro, and I don't think I'd have caught him in the end. So at least we had a bit of a battle there in the last few laps, but I would also rather have kept the P4. But it is what it is. We'll move on to the next one and uh, keep hunting, keep scouting, and uh, keep, keep trying to claw our rating back towards that 2K before yet another season finishes. <laughs> it's flying by. Scary. Yeah, that's going to be everything for this video, so if you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up, it really helps the channel out, and consider subscribing if you're new here and you've not done that already. Other than that, take it easy and look after yourself. I'll catch you in the next one.